Okay, yeah, another managerial casualty of this football season. Um, we just heard that Carlos Carvajal is not staying on for next season. Swansea and Martin Allen, another, another team that were relegated out of the league they were in, is leaving Barnet. Uh, Barnet, unfortunately, were relegated to the National League, which is the former conference in the non-league. They've been relegated out of the league, the football league out of League Two. They finished second bottom in League Two above Chesterfield. Martin Allen was brought in midway through the season. And the turnaround he had at that club and the effect he had in the time he was there the gap in points was like 10, 12 points to, to the teams above, and they got with it within a point. They were 10, 12 points back when he took over, and they got within a point of survival. And they they won their last game, 3-0, and yet they still got relegated. This is, however, the third time that Barnet have actually been relegated out of the Football League. They've been promoted to the Football League three times, and they have been relegated three times. So there's something that they need to address at this club. I think they can bounce back. They will bounce back. This is Barnet. They keep doing this. They keep going up and down the league to non-league structure. But they need to, you know, um, figure out why this is the case, that they keep yo-yoing between the non-league and the football league. Because this is a big financial penalty they're now going to take. And they've got players on contracts that are football league contracts that are going to be playing in the non-league on non-league professional contracts. And they've got to try and reduce that wage bill. Otherwise, you know, other teams like Torquay and gone from the Football League to now National League South. Yeah. Farnborough. That's another example. There are several teams that have been in the Football League or in the conference who've now dropped further down. Uh, Chesterfield, they they slipped out of the Football League, I think, for the first time in, in, in a while. There are teams that do this. They're on the cusp. They're on the cusp. Um... So Martin Allen has decided to leave, but the job he did in the brief time he was there was brilliant. Had he been there from the, had he been there earlier, they may have survived. And I honestly mean that. Had he got arrived two, three games earlier, they get out and more can go down. And that is how you know fickle uh, football is. Um, but yeah, this is the second managerial casualty of the day. Uh, I know the the football league season is now over and it's playoff time. Uh, the Premier League has got one fixture left. Uh, so the regular season is basically about to end and it's playoffs and cup finals and Champions Leagues and Europa Leagues and then the World Cup. So we're basically at the end of the, 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 the 2017-2018 season and we're still having managerial casualties and the season has been over for a few days. Um, it's mad. It is mad. Um, but I want to hear from Barnet fans what their view on Martin Allen is. I know there's Barnet, Barnet fans out there. Some of them probably watch this channel. Uh, and if, if you come across it, I want to hear your views on this because the turnaround he had at that club and the effort players suddenly put in and the, the, the way they close the points gap to one point from like 12, 10 or 12 points back is an amazing achievement considering the budget they had, the, the lack of time he had with the team but the positive effect he had, I think maybe he should have stayed, maybe he should have stayed on and trying to get them promoted back to the Football League because there's clearly momentum at this club even though they got relegated, there's momentum here so I'm a bit surprised by his decision but I'm not a Barnet fan, I'm not around the, the, the Barnet Club. It's just, I find it very interesting this is the third time they've been relegated out of the Football League. That's got to be some kind of record, surely. Um, I don't think any other team has that record, but I could be wrong. But no, I, I'm i very interested to hear from Barnet fans. Place your comments below. Um, if you stumble across this, please like and subscribe if you find it interesting. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.